Wake up. on the Monty and it's worth every single minute. all right guys so the Monte Carlo is back and I spent uh, basically six hundred dollars on this thing and I, in my opinion it was well worth it I use this as a daily driver all the time and I wanted to be operating I want it to be looking good or as good as it can the it was starting to look dated okay it was starting to look raggedy old and I thought that a, a, a nice updated you know set of headlights uh, is, is going to give it that more of a modern look more of a crisper front end and it really does it's amazing how when you put you know a, a nice headlights with with some nice daytime running lights on there it just appears so much uh, better okay and I'm really happy that I ended up going in that direction the lights themselves the the, the fixture the headlight fixture was a hundred and I believe it was a little over hundred and fifty dollars then the, the light bulbs itself were um, about eighty dollars and then install on it was $55 or 50 bucks. Uh, I was going to do the install myself. I thought it was, it, it looked like a really easy job. But when I brought the car in about my first issue, he said he would do it for $50. And I was like, screw it, you know, like what the heck? I mean, for $50, that's nothing. So I just let him install the headlights and, you know, uh, why I really brought it there was because the dashboard was no longer working, like the, the dashboard light. So like when it's dark out, I'm not able to see what speed I'm going or anything like that. And so uh, I brought that in and they pulled apart the dash and realized that the lights are soldered. So you send the whole cluster? Yeah, they're gonna take okay. this whole thing. And this is not something that you felt comfortable doing? No. Okay. I don't want to mess with it, man. Because I was looking at it. Once you get that cover off. See, the bulbs aren't part of this. They're in back here. Yeah, yeah in the... Behind, it you. doesn't separate. This doesn't separate. The only way to separate these two is to remove the hmm. toggles. And I don't want to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't want to mess with that. It's not my area of expertise. But it's stupid, because usually can you can just give, flip it can over Can they do and, colored bulbs in there? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know, because I usually, it's all the same when you have colored. This is different with the color, with the light goes through. The bulbs yeah. are always clear. Okay. Like I've seen on So it lights up, okay. This is where the light comes from, this piece of this thing. Yeah. Same light, white, whether it shines through green, that's how all these are all the same. All the bulbs are all white back here, but this light's red, that light's yellow, because of the filament, you know, the coloring. Gotcha. In this panel. All right. So how many bulbs are in that thing? Do you know? Uh, well, I can only imagine. You got like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I would imagine. And they're you know, they're all section. they're all getting replaced. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's what they said. They were like, they're just gonna do them all. Okay. Well, it's there. There's no sense in none. They just rip them all out and do them all. 
there's and nothing there's, else wrong with it. There's right? like a, this is the time, like, while it's there. That's what I was thinking. Okay, good. All right. But uh, you have no other issues? No. I think yeah, that, that's, that's what they asked me, you know, the fuel gauge or anything. Because this is the time. It's there. It's all one price. It'll repair whatever, whatever it needs to be repaired. Okay. But that's what I said. I said, as far as I know, there's no other issues. They're soldered. So it was like, you can't just, like, unscrew it and screw it back in, you know, like. So they had to send it out. It was two hundred dollars, and then uh, I believe they charged what, like a hundred bucks for install. So you're you're talking over, you know, six hundred plus dollars uh, for some lights. But in the end, it's like that's what you have to do. You know, my car is now what is it, an 06, so it's twelve years old. Uh, a lot of things are getting old. A lot of things are are uh, wearing out, and uh, you know, I. The LS4 engine that lives under the hood is still going strong. The transmission is strong. Uh, the big components on this car are still really, really good. So it's, uh, you know, it's it's my own personal decision to keep it around to, to, you know, repair these minor little things. This way, it doesn't look like crap on a daily basis. So either way, uh, the Monty is back. You're going to be seeing a little bit more of it. Uh, I have a cold air intake sitting at home that I want to put on here. I, I don't think it's going to translate into any legit performance, but at some point I want to put a Diablo T2 on here and tune it for uh, the 93 octane. And, you know, it's never going to be a racer. This car is never going to even come close to be able, being able to beat my Charger. And that my intention is is not to make this thing very fast. It is just to make it more enjoyable. I love it. I think it looks great. Uh, but you know what? We're all in the business, as we all know, of having a little bit more horsepower because it's always a little bit more fun to have horsepower. So you know that's that's really where my head is at. And um, yeah, I'm just glad to have it back. You know, uh, this thing is. 78,000 miles deep. It's still a puppy. Still has a lot of a lot of life left in it. So that really is that on the Monte Carlo. And you know, I enjoyed the heck out of driving my my Charger for a week. But I'll tell you, with the cam, that sucker drinks gas like nothing I've ever seen. I swear that sitting in in traffic, you just watch that needle going down, down. Um, so, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I don't, you know, I don't really care. I, I knew going into buying the cam for the charger that, you know, the, it was going to drink gas, basically. So, yeah, guys, you know what? Have a great weekend. Thank you for making it this far into the video. You guys are awesome. And uh, I'll see you on the next upload. Shaco on the beat. Shaco on the beat. Shaco on the beat. Shaco on the beat. Shaco on the beat.